Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we are going to talk about image segmentation. Now, what is this image segmentation? The image segmentation is process of detecting individual object in an image. Now you can see in this example here you have three objects which we are interested in. Actually we have a foreground and a background in this image and in the foreground we have three different objects. One is a dog and uh, we have cat. So suppose you want to uh, detect individual objects in an image then we have to go for image segmentation. Sometimes uh, in image classification also we will not get better results. Uh, because the image may be uh, having various noises or the image has uh, many other objects uh, which is of not interest to us. So before you do image classification, if you have multiple uh, objects in an image, it's always better to segment the image which we are interested in and then we will do the classification. So image segmentation is like a pre-processing step for any image classification techniques. Okay, now uh, what, what will be the input and what is the output of image segmentation? Input will be the image. When you give an image to any image segmentation model, your output will be the segmented image, the mask. Actually the mask, okay, so this is a mask. Suppose, uh, for example, in simple terms, if I give an image, it will give me uh, which is the background and which is the foreground. Or if I give image with multiple objects, it will create, it will identify the multiple objects. It will give the mask to identify the multiple objects in the image. So that will be the output of image segmentation. It will give you the mask uh, to identify the multiple images. Okay. Uh, now, uh, where does image uh, segmentations are used? It's mostly used in self-driving cars. Now here, if you see in self-driving cars, it's not important that you detect the object in front of you. It's always important to detect the shape of the object in front of you. So for example, in self-driving cars, um, the cars can detect there is a road in front of you. Okay, uh, it can detect the road, but you have to segment that road and correctly identify whether it is a curve or whether it is a straight road. So always segmentation is very, very important uh, to identify or to accurately uh, predict uh, more information about your image okay so it's used in self-driving cars it is also used to identify uh, some detects in your circuit boards uh, it's used mainly in medical imaging as I told you uh, for example cancers uh, you can identify the cancer cell but the stage of the cancer can be predicted from the shape of the cell so you can identify the cancer cell, but you, you should know the shape of the cancer cells to identify which stage uh, it is in. So there segmentation plays a major role. So these are the applications of uh, image segmentation. Okay, now there are different techniques to do image segmentation. So today we are going to see the first technique, which is threshold method. In threshold method, we are going to discuss uh, O2's threshold. Okay, uh, so we will see some Python code how to do this image segmentation. Now, if you see, I have taken an image. So here you can see uh, there are multiple objects in this image. So just uh, loaded the image from my location, from my drive, and then I have plotted the image. So here you can see this is an image. Now. If you want to do image segmentation, so as I told you, we are going to use threshold segmentation. So what is actually threshold segmentation is we are going to select a threshold. Okay, so we are going to identify a threshold. So all the pixels uh, whose values are less than the threshold will be set to zero and all the pixels whose values greater than the threshold will be set to the maximum value. So what is our main aim is we are trying to uh, separate the foreground and the background. So here in this image, you can see the background is white color and the foreground, you have different objects in the foreground. So we have to separate the foreground and the background. So segmentation will work better only when your images are grayscale images. So the first step is to load the image. The second step is to convert your image to the grayscale. So you can see 
we are converting the image to the grayscale rbg to grayscale images now the segmentation results will be better only if you remove the noises in the image so we are using a gaussian filter um, with a, a small sigma value to remove the uh, noise in the image so once that is done you can see this is our grayscale image we got so you can see the background is uh, white and uh, the foreground you have some objects and objects are having various uh, in, uh, in, uh, various um, intense values for pixels some are dark and some are light and it's uh, varying okay now what we are going to do we have to find out a threshold value okay uh, so all the pixels whose values are less than threshold we are going to plot it zero all which are greater than the threshold value we are going to plot it the maximum value so to find out the threshold uh, manually the best way is to draw the histogram of the image so we take this image the image which is converted to grayscale this image we draw a histogram and we are plotting the histogram so here you can see in the histogram at one point okay you can see there is a rise in the pixel value okay uh, the, uh, the there is uh, the frequency is very high in the histogram that point is uh, that point will be selected as the threshold value so maybe i can tell the rise starts at uh, 0 0.8 yeah yes so we are going to select the threshold as 0 0.8 and we are going to create a mask okay so we are going to uh, select the uh, operator as less than so less than 0 0.8 okay i'm going to plot less than 0 0.8 so here you can see this is the output for less than 0 0.8 so every pixel uh, which is having threshold value less than 0 0.8 will be set to zero all the others will be set to uh, 2555 okay that's the maximum value 255 so here you can see your background is now black and the objects alone is in white color So here you can see less than 0 0.8 is set to 0. So 0 is nothing but black and greater than 0 0.8 will be set to white. So now we got a mask. Okay, we got a mask. Now if you want to make it color, just use this binary mask to select the interesting parts. So here you can see binary mask, make it 0. So you can see the selected objects alone will be in different color your background will be in black color so actually this threshold method is used for binary classification because threshold you see we have selected only one threshold one only one threshold the region which is less than the threshold uh, will be one region the region which is greater than the threshold value will be another region so it's just a binary classification here because we have selected only one threshold value and that threshold we have selected manually okay we have used the histogram to select the uh, threshold so here you can see we used the we saw the histogram of the image and we selected the point where uh, the frequencies are more okay uh, so we use the histogram but uh, this method may not be an efficient method maybe you have more than one more than two regions in an image in that case we need an automatic uh, threshold finder so how will you automatically select the threshold is by using the function autos okay so here you have I have taken a, a different image to show how to select the threshold uh, threshold value automatically so this is an image here you see a root a plant root okay the same steps you have to convert your image to grayscale you have to use a gaussian filter to remove the noise of the image then you have to draw the histogram okay so this is the histogram here you can see the frequencies are varying in different intervals so here you can see um, you will have more than one threshold value here you can see the maximum but if you want to take only the maximum you can see the maximum threshold value is around 0 0.3 or 2 somewhere around here you have the maximum threshold value and here you can see here also 
uh, the frequency is high the frequency is high in this point as well as the frequency is high in, is rising in this point so you can see the frequencies are rising in these points now how to find out automatic uh, threshold value is by using uh, otto's uh, method okay so here you can uh, call the otto's method here okay this will automatically find out the threshold so here you can see the threshold value is 0 0.411 now we are trying to create the binary mask for this threshold okay now if you create a binary mask so here you can see the background is black and the foreground is white so we are able to separate the background and the foreground so we are able to create a mask which separates the background and foreground either manually you can use manual method by looking at the histogram or you can use Otto's method to automatically detect the threshold value so here in this example we just saw only a single threshold suppose you have multiple regions then you will have more than one threshold value Okay, so this is an example to for binary classification, background and foreground. Suppose you have multiple objects in an image, in that case you may read multiple thresholds. So you also have methods for multiple thresholds in autos. So we will uh, discuss about that method in another session. Thank you for listening.